Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And in this video, we will head back to Machna Forest and see what happens as we keep exploring. Ooh, hopefully I can get to that. Yeah. Sorry, I keep cutting off the daytime music. But it's very similar to the nighttime music, and you can find it on YouTube if you really want to listen to it. I'm only doing this for the achievement, really. Don't lose focus! Leave it to Ryan! Don't try to inflict break on these guys, I guess. They are immune to break and topple, which means that... Use those for damage. And yay, Dumban learned a new art. Oh, I think that, I don't, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, that's not something, it's not a very good art. At least it's not going to be in my list. It's some aura, I don't even know. And the reason I'm walking all the way over here Why, you might be asking, why are you want? Also, do not fight the Terex. Do not. Just don't. You will die. Oh, we will need to fight these Karas Nebulas at some point. I will come back and do that later. Oh, I missed an ancient document. The reason I walked that way is just so I could discover Bridge 2 and Bridge 3. Because they both connect, they both, they're both basically just connect the same two places. I don't even know why they have two separate bridges. I mean, it's I guess it's nice. Oh, there's a location behind this guy, and I am serious, there is actually a location that you can't get to because this guy is in the way. The reason I did that is because this guy has 100% break to, to the top re resistance outside of a chain attack to break, and I'm not going to use a chain attack, so... I might as well do that damage. But we mustn't be careless. Let's not lose our heads though. And we get this whole list of stuff. But back here you can discover the sap cave. Which has three units of Algora sap. Of Algora sap in it for whatever reason. Oh well. Random key items. Might as well pick them up. 
Oh, you never know when they might be useful later on. But let's keep heading on. Let's head further, because I want to just keep going. Let's see what comes up when I... Let's see what's up here. Cutscene time. It's the girl. Over there. Well, I guess her name isn't a spoiler anymore, but... The party doesn't know her name. Hey, are you okay? You. Yup. Oh, that's a, that was a new vision. But Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. <sighs> Ryan holding her staff, though. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need watertight ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? Hey? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. <laughs> I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? I think we all spotted that waterfall. I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too. So I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. And everyone needs to party temporarily. I didn't strip them, because, I mean... They're going to rejoin the party very shortly. There's not much point. First thing you want to do, do not run. It's best to skip travel to Lakeside if you can. If you didn't discover it, you will probably have discovered the Agni Tablet. You can run down and discover it. You can run down that slope and discover it. But skip travel as close as you can. I highly recommend it. Because it's dangerous, because it is dangerous to go alone. And we found the water ether crystals for Mystery Girl Rescue. You do not have to mine the ether crystal deposit, but I did. And another cutscene. Who are you? Hello, then. Haven't we seen him before? Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Albus. Alvis is a very interesting character. Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, He's like of that Colony one Line, character who knows everything. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. Yup. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Uh, 
Huh? Yeah, Alvis knows everything. This cutscene is rather painful to watch. So, also, wow, that sky, though. It can't be. I saw its movement before it struck. How can it? It is a telepathy. Telepathy? They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You know about my visions. How could you possibly? There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks and dull its perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... Um... Huh? Yeah, sure. Elvis does know how to. Elvis knows everything. And we'll see what that light was. If you haven't guessed, you, if you should really have guessed by now. And we get Shulk and Alvis. Now you, you want to listen to Alvis's battle quotes closely if you can. And we get Minato Purge. It removes auras and spikes. I'm not even going to use arts here because I don't think I'm in any trouble. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Yeah, I should end this.
All this does to arts, they're just physical attacks. They just do physical damage. They're not spe very special. And that's it. That's the battle. Ridiculously easy. Well, you see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey, wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely at spawn. And as you can see, it's daytime now. Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? Mm. The Alvis knows way too is much. A divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? That's basically the question that will go on answered. That's a question that will go on answered until sure. the end of the game. Sure. Quite literally. Uh, the final cutscene. Right. I'm over here! Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Brian. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? But let's just forget about all this philo that, philosophical Alvis? stuff that Elvis is getting was, us into. Uh, there's no one here. And I'm telling you, he was move right on here. with our adventure. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Oops. Just you and me, Shook. Sorry. And no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. No. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Charlotte. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by imaginary beasts. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis. Who are you? Exactly. And we go back. This is a rather long cutscene. I might actually not fit this into the video. I'll try. I spent too long in that battle, I guess. Can't be that long. An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises, not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No, I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know now? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. And it's time to bring a new person, another person into existence. I almost spoiled something. But, yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Oh. Hey! Watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive okay. my indiscretion. Okay, staff going through her 
the army. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Holmes. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk, you're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you and get here? it's Melia. What, well, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Holmes venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're travelling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit oh. me to return the favour by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Holmes too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with a posh accent. Okay, that's going to be all the time I have for this video, so I will see you guys in... Oh, never mind. Cutscene. Never... Oh, this is just them walking out. Yeah. So I will... We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? I will see you guys visited. next time we reckon it's our best chance when we continue our Since journey through Magna Forest. The region, the been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. Come on, stop talking. Okay, see you guys next time where we will continue our adventure.